hi guys welcome back to my channel <laughs> oh this is such an exciting moment in my life because i've been really wanting to go to the nord cup for so many years since i came to europe but i never had the chance and i got it now and i can't believe it you're almost there this is the last uh, leg of our long drive to the nord cup it took us the whole week we started um when did we start on the afternoon of sunday last sunday and now i'm recording this video on sunday in the evening and uh, we still have a few kilometers left and then we reach the round cup today we are not uh, going to reach it we are going to sleep somewhere and then tomorrow uh, we'll reach it it's not far from where we are so um yeah so this will be probably the last uh, uh episode of my Nord Cup road trip diaries. Uh, then, um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the journey with me. I made some dash comes the last part because uh, the lower part of Sweden have already done uh, dash comes, and there's nothing much to see, it's just the same thing. So, if you want to see the dash comes, the older ones, you can see them. I'll link some of them up here or down there, wherever. I don't know where they are nowadays. Just look for them up, or just go to my uh, channel and look for my dash cams under the playlist uh, called "Round Trips and Dash Cams," something like that. Um, yeah, so this will probably be the last uh, dairies, and uh, yeah, uh, the next update will be at Nord Cup. Hope to see you there, and I'm so excited, guys! I'm really excited. Uh, so enjoy this part of the trip and yeah i hope to see you in my next video <laughs> just doing a little walk here on this beautiful beach maybe i should move here i don't know but i can't move here that's where the car is parked so beautiful the earth that we live in isn't it anyway back to the car the journey continues but we're almost there filming this from the car <laughs> because I just don't feel like we know it's it's cold kind of cold it's now what time is it well it's 21 40 yeah, so 9 40 going to 10 and that's the view from the other side of the van That's the view I have from here, sitting in the van. Just look at that view, guys. All around me. That's what I'm seeing. <laughs> guys are to die for. Little cold breeze, but I don't mind. Those views are to die for. And this is our bed for the night. <laughs> with these views. Can you believe that? Sleeping here. 
and then you wake up to this. Why would I complain? <laughs> hmm? Tell me why would I complain? Wow. Just wow. Well, at least we can go inside here. Oh, it's warm. <laughs> Ooh, very nice. Uh, panoramic. Ah, oh, you can watch a film. It's very nice. Hello. The king of Thailand was here in 1907. Oh. It, it, it's, it's not a hot stone, it's, it's the original stone, it's really? here. They, they built it around the stone oh. because it's written here. It was made quasi um diesen Stein herum gebaut worden, or it's here in English. Yeah. It was erected in 1959, it was built around the stone, so around this stone it was built. Ah, so this is where the king of Thailand came in 1907. Reach the gift shop now. To buy some. Oh, look what they have. The, the cups. <laughs> Maybe they have Wi-Fi here. So I bought some books for my son. Uh, you have to pay uh, 27 euros, 27. It's about like, 7 euros to access this building, but then you, have, you access everything here. Except the food, of course, and the drinks. The, uh, there's a movie showing 15 minutes long. You can go shopping. And you can buy stuff here. So that's what I'm doing
So we finally made it to Nord Cup after a whole week of driving from home in Stuttgart all the way up to the Nord Cup. It took us a whole one week, of course, to st with stops every now and then. Um, every other 500 or 300 kilometers you can't drive the whole way um, directly it's too much but guys look at the temperatures here it's terrible it was just okay the whole way from where we camped last night until we were about 40 kilometers from North Cup and then all of a sudden it just became foggy you could barely see the cars Look at that look at that dash come there you could barely see the car in front of you and then we come here um and we go into the building there i mean it's nice and warm and stuff you have to pay for it of course it's not all free <laughs> and then the view is blocked you can see nothing i mean just look at these videos that i'll post next and you see what i mean you can barely see anything and then we asked um is it always like this and uh, the person told us 60 percent of the time it's always like this it doesn't matter what time of the year we are like what so we're not going to see the sea eh? the sea you know <laughs> man such a disappointment anyway we are planning to spend the night here and we are hoping for better weather tomorrow but i have checked and it seems like it's going to be the same like today but we have a ticket to enter the building until tomorrow at uh, i think 2 p.m and then we have to leave uh, or we have to buy a new ticket so we are going to wait here until tomorrow 2 p.m and if it doesn't clear we just go back and forget about it and then start the drive back home but we are not going to follow the same direction because now our, our holidays start so we are going to follow the coastal uh, route or route all the way to the south of norway to Christian Sand and then from Christian Sand we take the ferry back to Denmark and then back to Germany. This was a long journey but Nord Cup was always on my bucket list. It's now checked so I'm really happy and uh, next stop who knows the deserts of the US or Alaska who knows my bucket list is still very long as long as I don't reach the last tick heaven before i complete the other list in my bucket <laughs> if you know what i mean anyway as long as i'm alive i'm going to make these trips because i'm enjoying myself so much i don't care about the weather i can dress up so thank you for coming with me um on this trip and uh yeah um i hope to see you again in my next video i don't know what i'm going to post and uh, be on the lookout for the dash cams be on the lookout for the drone uh we took some drone uh, videos be on the lookout for that i will post that probably next month or the end of this month when i'm back home so be on the lookout for that and uh hope you're going to enjoy it so until then uh this is bye bye for me now bye and as i always say stay blessed and stay melanated it doesn't matter your skin color you're just fabulous the way you are and stay that way don't change anything there's no need to change anything well you know you can tinkle a little bit you know tinker it's called tinkering you can tinker but don't tinker too much because you are just marvelous the way you are you are wonderfully and fearfully made bye